Hi, I'm Andy Smedegard. I'm with RS Motors and 365 Racing. We've competed in several series, from SCCA Solo Autocross, to Chump Car, to Optima's Ultimate Street Car. And one of our reasons for success is having a well-balanced chassis. Thanks to Intercomp Racing, we're able to achieve that balance. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how and why you need to quarter balance your car. Here we have the SW777 scales from Intercomp Racing. This is a cordless system, so you don't have to worry about tripping over cables. Features a 2.5 inch billet aluminum scaling pad. The total system capacity is 6,000 pounds. Before we corner balance this car, we need to get it in race ready form. Now what that means is topping off all fluids as if it were ready to go out on track. Uh, even things like your gas, filling it up to let's say half full or, or full tank if that's what you need. Um, tire pressures, making sure tire pressures are all equal. Ride height, making sure ride height is about where you want it. This car we have here is an 06 Evo that we're setting up for Colorado, a USCA event. Uh, we just changed the spring rates up, so we're gonna corner weight it um, and get her ready to go. This is one of the last steps involved before we head to the track. We need to level these scales. Using a carpenter's level or a laser level, we wanna make sure each of these scales are exactly level all the way across. Very important. To help speed up the process next time, make some marks on the ground and also make notes if you need to use any shims underneath any of the pads. We're using a lift to scale this car. If you don't have a lift, you may simply use a jack. We wanna make adjustments, but before we do that, we need to unload any suspension bond. This can be done with turn plates or a slide plate, which is also sold by Intercomp. Demonstration purposes, we are not using them. Uh, if you don't have one, you can Google search a DIY turn plate. You'll come up with all sorts of solutions. One thing you also want to do once on the turn plates, give the car a couple good bounces in the front and back to unload any of that suspension bind. As you can see, it shows the weight at each corner. And before making adjustments, you want to simply either write these down on a piece of paper or using the indicator, you can hit store. We'll save this in number one. Just enter. We'll overwrite this. And now this information is now stored for us to recall at a later time. Corner weighting is nothing more than moving weight around. There's two ways to do this. Either physically moving weight, moving that battery to the light corner or a fire bottle or ballast. The second way of moving weight around is adjusting the ride height at each corner. Uh, if you need to lighten up one corner, you can lower that ride height at that corner. Or if you need to add weight, you can raise it. These are weights taking off the scales live. Using these four buttons at each corner, we can select the two corners we want, and this will give us a sum of the weight of those two corners. This also shows the cross weight percentage. We're not gonna tell you how to set up a car. Uh, there are several methods you can corner weight your car to depending on the type of racing. What we want to achieve is a more balanced ride and get the sum of these two weights similar to what these two weights would be. We've made a few adjustments. We need to make sure we are continually unbinding that suspension every time we lift the car up and make those adjustments. So be sure that you're bouncing on the car, rolling it back and forth, or if you have slide plates, you really don't have to do much. Quarter waiting is complete. We're off to the alignment rack. After that, we're out to the track to prove this setup. The scale system is wireless and lightweight, so we get to bring it to the track with us. Any adjustments we make at the track, we make note of that. After several events, we get to collect this information and compile a database, find the setup that works best. Once again, I'm Andy from RS Motors 365 Racing. Thanks for watching. Also, thank you Intercomp for making such a vital component in our chassis setup. Follow us on Facebook, 365 Racing RS Motors. We'll see you on the podium.